Yo, what is up guys? Zorin here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Now, today I have a team brought to you by our good friend Evan. And he's bringing us a great Tusk team with a Choice Scarf and Seal Terra. Okay, we're going to see what this thing can do because I haven't used a great Tusk ooh, in such a long time. So I want to see if this thing can do anything for us in this uh, in this showcase. We are run rocking Dialga as our restricted though. So we have Ice Beam, Aerosphere, Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor on this thing with the Fairy Terra. And it's rocking the Assault Vest to make it a little beefy. We do have Tornadoes here with Cover Cloak, Bleak Wind, Tail Wind Taunt, Sunny Day. Just to help that Great Tusk get those um, that Protosynthesis boost in case they don't put it up for you. Hint hint with the Coridon and the Groudons. We got Rock Pawn here again, standard stuff with the Ivory Cudgel, Horn Leech, Spiky Shield, Follow Me, Rock Terra because it can't be anything else. We got Incineroar with the Water Terra, the Knock Off, the Fake Out, Parting Shot will o -Wisp. This one is more utility based with the Intimidate and the Safety Goggles to prevent those Amoongus from, you know, putting you to sleep. And Chiyu here, of course, as well to help uh, to also abuse that Sunny Day if in case you get to put it up with the Heat Waves, Dark Poses, Snarls, and the Focus Ash to keep it protected. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna see if this thing can do anything. We do have two things on this team that can pretty much not care about the earthquakes if we end up opting for earthquake. The Alga having telepathy and Tornadoes being a flying type, you can kind of just uh, ignore the earthquake on the Alga because of telepathy. If, in case you guys don't know what telepathy does, it lets you ignore your teammates AOE moves. So earthquake usually hits your Dialga, not anymore because of telepathy. So we have a lot of protects as well, so you can also, you know, opt in to use protect and earthquake at the same time. Might need to switch the next turn, but it is what it is. If you guys want to try out the team, the, the rental and the poker base will be in the description below. And again, thank you Evan for the team. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are enjoying the, the, the content. Subscribing really does help guys and I really, really would appreciate it. Helps with the algorithm, lets people know that I am making content. I make content daily, so. Even though it's, it's kind of rough right now, thanks to Regulation G being so boring and we're going to have to do another month most likely. So yeah, help me out guys. Help me out. All right. Well, let's get right into the, the battles now. Okay, we've got a Lunala. <laughs> okay. Hmm, Lunala. Lunala, Balala, Malula. Okay. I might do Tornadus to you. Bring Great Tusk in the back. And bring Kronos in the back. Now here's the problem with Great Tusk though. If Rulaboom catches it, we are going dead last with that. And we're not bringing Cineroar. But we have Taunt. So I'm hoping with Taunt we can kind of like deal with that. Of course they have a Fire Palm to, to abuse our, our son too. Which is fantastic. Leave it to matchmaking to put me against that one dude still running Fire Pawn when everybody's like running Rock Pawn and really that's it. <laughs> Water Pawn sometimes maybe, but usually it's Rock Pawn. It is these two, okay. That's kind of what I figured. Kind of what I figured, but I think that's okay. What's not okay is that I'm, I might get Meteor Beamed here. That is not okay. So I want a Dark Terra. I don't know. I don't know if I even live a Dark uh, on a, a, a Meteor Beam, even with I Terra. Yeah. Okay. I'm taunting this. I'm protecting. If he's fairy, he's calm minding. Okay, he has to be calm minding then. I think we're fine. I think we're safe. Hopefully. I'm hoping. I'm protecting. I don't want to deal with this. Yeah, he, he, he was going to fake out the fish. I did not want him to fake out my fish. I also didn't want to waste Terra just to get a hit in. There's no point in that. 
Oh, cosmic power. No, no, no. That's not happening, buddy. Alright, what do we do here? We're gonna put Sunny Day up, I think. I did just Heat Wave. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not letting that that cosmic power go. Nah, not today. Meteor Beam would have uh, really ruined me a little bit if it went into the tornado slot. But I'm glad to see cosmic power here because I did not want to deal with that. All right, let's put up the sun. Let's get a little fancy here. We don't miss, thankfully. Damn, that did more damage to the instant than it did to the. Uh, <laughs> to the to the dude. Oh, that's funny. Okay, yeah, that's gonna do a little bit of damage. And then we're gonna get you turned on. Okay. All right, Shadow Shield. Correct. Silly me. How can I forget about that? Shadow Shield. That's why I didn't do damage. Shadow Shield. Shadow Shield. Okay, Ogre Pond's coming out. Well, they can't tear us. Oh, but they're faster, right? Not, not for long, though. I have Tailwind. Oh, we're fine. We have Tailwind. We can just do this. And Heat Wave again. We just have to not miss Heat Wave on the, on the Ogre Pond. At this point, if you want to miss on the on the, on the the Lunala, go for it. But please don't miss on the, on the Ogre Pond. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> stupid fish, man. What did I say? Don't miss on the Ogre Pond, you stupid, blind, ugly, little, fiery fish. You had one job. One job. Mother of... Bro, come on, man. He shook off the town. That's fantastic. I'm happy for you. Absolutely happy for you. Okay. I need to taunt him again, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. I'm angry. I'm just gonna spam earthquakes now. We have um tur we have telepathy in the back anyways. At least at least the genie doesn't miss, you know? At least the genie doesn't miss. That means all he has left is uh two months in the back. I think it's fine. If we missed that bleak win, we actually would have been in a lot of trouble here. But yeah. Great Tusk put in putting in work with the earthquakes. We're gonna have to switch out the, the Great Tusk though, because otherwise we're not gonna be able to uh do anything here. Oh. Oh, that's not fun. Oh, that's really not fun. We still need to switch out. Oh, we can taunt it though. We're fine. Wait, we're fine. No, hold on. Taunty, taunty. Switch to Tiago. We're good. It's all good. We haven't even used Terra yet, so we're good. Taunty, taunty. You even know we have it. Oh, he, he might protect. That's actually true. Oh, right. That's true. You could protect, that's Among Us, and then KO me. Oh, he doesn't protect. I think I think that was a mistake. Protecting there was definitely the play. Like, yeah, you have Flare Blitz, just... Okay. I'll take the Taunt, the free Taunt. I could just Earthquake Spam you now. What are you gonna do? But Tech was his best play there. I don't know. I don't know why he thought he was gonna get a free. You you saw me taunt your Lunala. What made you think? In what world did you think I was just gonna allow you to swarm me? That makes no sense to me. And my attack was heightened. We don't need this. We're just gonna go for Earthquake. Keep it nice and simply. And we're just gonna go for Ice Beam because we have Ice Beam. Why not? And we're going to Terra Fairy, just in case. 
because uh, I do not want to get hit by a Flare Blitz under the sun. I get sent to the Gulag. I don't think my Dialga would appreciate that. Earthquake is going to go hit the other side and not my Dialga because Dialga has telepathy. Nice KO on the Incineroar. And now we're just going to deal with this Amungos. I'm going to go for the Ice Beams. Oh, that just KOs? Okay. I'll take it. it must have be that must be a physical uh, among us for it to because that took that took that uh, earthquake really well considering it's an attack boosted. It's an attack boosted uh, great tusk. All right, great tusk. Let's go. Tornado's put in a lot of work there too. Fish, you did kind of work, but at the same time you kind of like messed us up. All right, GG. Man, we are getting these Lunala teams today, huh? Yeah, we are. We are. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to figure out who are we bringing. Who do we bring here? Do we just do the same thing? A Zastrom? Because we always have to bring Kronos here. Or Ogre Pond is kind of good here too though. Especially if that's uh, the Arshifu kind of makes me not want to go to you. That's true. Arshifu kind of makes me not want to go to you. Uh... This is true. Hmm. Because then I'll be really weak to Chiyu. I mean to, to that thing, huh? Yikes, uh, I'll bring these four then. Yeah, Chiyu is kind of rough because if they bring Urshifu, I'm just weak to it. And it's going to be under screens. There's no way I can stop those screens. 100% it's going to be under screens. So I think we have to play like this. And just pray. I guess. It's a Grim Snarl and it's an Aurora. Okay. Not the worst. Not the worst at all. Alright, I'm just gonna go for the. Uh... Right, do we need Tailwind right now? No. I think I'm just gonna go for a Bleak Wind and I'm just gonna switch into Great Tusk. I think that's fine. I see no reason not to. Yep, there's the fake out. Rather not lose our sturdy. Oh. They want okay. Alright. I see you. And we're gonna miss. Hit hit the hit the better target though, in my honest opinion. I might even Terra here. <laughs> I might even Terra just so I don't get blasted by this thing. Do we need Terra on anything else? Fairy Terra would kind of be helpful. Fairy Terra would be actually really helpful here. Yeah. Alright, we're just going to put Sunny Day. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, Earthquake. Yep, you better redraw that son of a flying fire cat. I won't see it in my, ever in my life. Okay, there's Lunala. If I could just taunt it, we'll be fine. We get the Protosynthesis buff, we get the attack buff. There's Reflect, of course. Silly me. But I think that's okay. Really good damage still. That was a critical hit on the uh Wait, that was a critical Wait on what? It might have been on the on the Lunala. I didn't really get to read those words. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and taunt this thing. I'm just gonna for another earthquake.
Because we don't need Tailwind right now. We absolutely don't need it. We're Scarfed. We outspeed. We don't really need it. I think that was a... I, I'm pretty sure that was a crit on the Lunala. That, 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 that was way too little damage on that Grimmsnarl. To not be a crit on the Lunala. That would have wiped Lunala. I mean, um, Grimmsnarl off the face of the earth. Alright, let's go ahead and taunt. We don't want to deal with this. I don't care if it has Calm Mind. I don't care if it... Whatever it has, I don't want to deal with it. Yeah, there's a Thunder Wave. That's fine. We got we got the the, the thing off at least. Okay, let's just get another earthquake in. Nice. Okay, we deleted the the dude, which is good. Okay, that's Moonblast. So, oh, oh, that is true. It does have access to Moonblast. I forgot about that. Probably should have Terra then. We're Steel Terra too, right? Yeah. Okay. Cinderor comes out, that's fine. I think here... I think we just go for Bleak Wind. Switch out into Diago here. And just Fairy Terra. I think that's our best play here. Keep our, keep our, our dude alive. That gigantic Dialga is here. Got fake out. That was expected. Moonguy's beam, okay. Fine by me. Decent damage. We're good here. I think we do need Tailwind up though. And our sunny day is going to run out soon too. That's something we got to remember. So this is Reflect though. Kind of need our... Our dude here, huh? We'll, we'll try to put up a Tailwind. I'm 100% going to try. I think I'm just going to Aura Sphere this. Yeah. If we get Ogre Pond in, we might be in a good spot, honestly. It really depends what's in the back, though. Because we know... We know there's only one Pokemon left in the back. It might be Raging Bolt. If it's Raging Bolt, though, we're fine. Not a lot of damage, though, which is kind of rough. And we got paralyzed, didn't we? I didn't even notice. Okay. That's fine. Honestly, that's fine. It shook off the taunt, but I think that's fine. Because we can go into Earthquake territory now. We can Earthquake again. And go for a Flash Cannon on this. And I think we'll be fine. Because either he has to switch it. If he has Raging Bolt, then he has no switch. If he doesn't switch out the Incineroar, he has no switch in. It might be Rillaboom then. He should have brought Rillaboom in the beginning, actually. Now that I think about it. Oh no, it's Urshifu. Okay, flash cannon goes off. It wasn't enough. Oh wait, hold up, we're fine. Wait, we're fine. Our yeah, predecessors were up, but so this is reflect. Wait, why didn't his reflect go off? Wait, why is reflect still up? I saw it was too. Oh. It's likely. Okay. We didn't get Tailwind up, right? Oh, we did. No, we're fine. Okay. Well, we're fine.
Might just go for Draco on this. I don't know. No, you know what? I'll, I'll flash cannon this. No, no, no. We, we definitely need uh, Go all Aura Sphere. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to wanna go for it. Because Ogre Pond will be kind of like our, our win, con win con here. Just need this to KO, please, this time. Okay, we critical hit. I don't care if it mattered, I needed him gone. I don't think it mattered though. <laughs> no, Ogre, <laughs> he rage quit, are you serious? No, I had to, I had to go for that because if I, um, I think Ogre, Ogre Pond pretty much cleans up. So we, we didn't have to worry about that. Yeah, we're, we're good. All right, GG, let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, let's see what we got after that. There is a Zamazenta. There is a Zamazenta. Probably has wide guard. We have will o -Wisp, though, don't we? On this suit and center. Yeah, we do. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, I'm a cook. Uh... We have Will-O-Wisp. That's something we do have. How badly do I need speed control here? Probably don't need it as much as I might think. Taunt wouldn't be bad either though, because it stops him from being able to white guard. But then I can't bring both Great Tusk and Kronos if I bring Ogre Pond. Cause this is a great tusk video, I need to bring green tusk. I think I'm just gonna opt out to the, to this. Cause town would be phenomenal here. But I think this is okay too. He might go raging bolt first, and if he goes raging bolt first, then uh I think that's fine. I could always just parting shot out into the raging bolt. Okay, they are going straight for that, okay. Felt they might do that. Hey, here's the problem though, I need to burn this thing. Do I though? We're Terra Water in Cinderor? Why did I think I was Terra Grass? Oh, this is actually pretty good, actually. We're gonna do that, and we're just gonna... I'm gonna spike his shield. Because Water Terror is actually good here. We can't get Iso like Icicle Crash won't, like, murder us. That's the thing is that they might protect. Double protect would be kind of bad. And then they'll see my Will-O-Wisp, and then I'm just like, oops. Oopsie. There's a Chen Pao Protect. I'm pretty sure someone's in the Protect here too then. Oh. Oh no, wait. We're just faster, right. Oh, Iron Defense, okay. Yeah, that'll work. Let's just burn it though. Get it out of that. Really don't want to deal with that. Uh, I think we're just gonna hit it. Oh, we don't have um, what's his face, huh? This is a little bit tricky now. I think I parting shot here. I'm just part. I be Kajo. Oh, you try to do that, okay. <laughs> That's told us so much. <laughs> Can't believe he went for a Ivy Kaja though. I mean a thingy.
Okay, we're gonna switch out into our Great Tusk here. I guess the only problem is... Um... Probably Terra's here, right? Probably. I could Earthquake and Spiky Shield. That's actually a thing I can do too. And hope that he doesn't go for Wide Guard for some reason. Okay, he doesn't know. He might go for Wide Guards now, but he doesn't know. Yeah, it's not going to do a lot, but that's fine. We, we want to Chen Pao out, out as well. That was kind of like the, the thing that we needed out. He did go for Body Press on that slot afterwards. Okay. Gotta figure this out. There's Incineroar, okay. Yeah, lowering my attack is kind of rough. What's rough is um my my thing in the back though. I have Incineroar though. I can just I'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Because I have Incineroar in the back, so might as well do that. Yeah, I don't get it, but that's fine. If I did get it, that would have been huge, though. Oh. Okay. They do have a fake out turn now, though. He might be saving it for the Raging Bolt, actually. It might be. I think I want to fake this out and go for a, a headlong. Okay, what is it? Raging Bolt? Rillaboom. That works too, but I think headlong rush should still do damage here. I'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna switch to Riddle one, why, why bother? Why bother? Like, why bother go for, going for that? I'm going for Headlong this time. I'm playing games with you right now. The the sad part is we don't have uh we don't have Flare Blitz on this thing. What we can do is Will O' Wisp it though. That's something we can do. He might just body press uh, Grassy Glide here. Which I will switch out then into my Diago. Diago, Diago at this point isn't really needed anyways. Well, I, I guess I shouldn't say that. I kind of need it for the Rillaboom. But Great Tusk is putting in a lot of pressure here though. And I could use it for the Ensign. I am at minus one, right? No, he's at minus one. Yeah, there's a grassy glide. He's probably going for body press on the other side, right? Yep. Called it. It's so much damage still. All right, he's burned at least. So that's at least good. Problem is now we're uh, we're in a little bit of a pickle though. We're not faster than it. That's for sure. What do we do here, though? I mean, if it's doing that much to my incentive, it's going to destroy my Diago. I actually need to switch out here, huh? Yeah.
There's incident in the back, right? We knock off here. We are a sphere and pray. We prayed. We prayed. We prayed and it worked. Arceus. Arceus heard our call and we survived. <laughs> that was huge. That was a huge survival, actually. Ah, we go down to. Oh, that's kind of rough. Oh, that's really rough. Damn, dude. These guys are doing so much damage to us while burned. Oh god. I needed the fairy terror, I think. I think that's where I went wrong. Cause he still has he still has instant and you saw how much that did. I don't think I can win this like at all. Unless he throws. The only way he could throw this is if I because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Draco meter to Rillaboom. The way he throws this is if he um I could go, I could go for close combat actually. I don't need to go for a ground move here. But I need to Draco this slot and then pray. Okay, yeah. Wait, that's not bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's not bad. Never mind. We're good. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that did nothing. I was really hoping that would KO. We might get KO'd here now. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. This is a really close one. Holy. There's a shot we still lose this though. I never got the Assault Vest off that dude. Like Ice Beam, like this is technically, what, 50%? What is that, like 65 more, so 195? 195 to 180? No, this is still a lot more. It's not enough, it's not enough, hold on! Okay, okay! Hold on, there's there, there's hope, there's hope, there's hope. Great Tusk might have just clutched this. Great Tusk might have just clutched this. Yeah, okay. I just have to hit an Ice Beam. Or a close combat. Ice Beam should take it out. There's no way it doesn't. Otherwise, Rillaboom needs to get uh, removed from the game. He doesn't have Grassy Glide access anymore either. Yeah, I think we won. Great Touch just clutched it up. Yep. Great Touch clutched it up. He absolutely did. Let's go, Great Tusk. Oh man, Great Tusk put in so much work. Jeez, okay. GG. I'll take it. Okay, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Well,. All I can say is Great Tusk put in a ton of work on this team. Thankfully with Dialga and Tornadus being able to not take any damage from Great Tusk Earthquake, it put in a lot of work with those AoEs. So really, really not happy with how Great Tusk performed, especially on that 3 HP survival on that Lunala Moonblast. That was actually really, really clutch as well because we ended up making him rage quick because he lived at 3 HP. <laughs> that was so good yeah the team is really really well made shout out to evan for the team it was it did really really well Dialga's tankiness definitely was very useful and cinero's will was was so useful for zamazenta because if, if it wasn't for the will we probably would have just lost flat out to that zamazenta so thankfully we didn't miss the will wisp otherwise would have been would have been very very sad but it worked out it worked out with that said guys if you guys want to try out the team the rental and the poker base will be in the descri description below and as always, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me with the algorithm to let other people know that I'm out there. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.